Hey guys, it's another video. It's Kia. And I wanted to talk to you about being a fragrance fanatic. So if you're like me and YouTube is your HSN for fragrance, then I'm going to share a few tips with you that I do now just to make sure I'm keeping myself in check. So the first thing that I do is instead of like opening a website or grabbing my credit card or whatever the case may be, I go to either the notes on my phone or screenshot or write it down. I want to take note of the fragrance. So that's step one. Just take note of the fragrance. Like it piqued your interest. Take note of it. Don't rush to the site to buy it. Don't rush to your wallet to spend money. Just write it down and take note of it. You can even take notes of like who recommended it. What were the intriguing notes that make you that made you want to take note of it? The second thing that I do is I will then research it later. Like go to sleep on it. The next day, I may research it. Of course, for Grand Tifa is most of our best friend or base notes or anywhere else or look up more reviews to see what other people are saying to try to get a balanced opinion or even if all the the reviews are great look for a bad one to know what people think is a bad characteristic of this fragrance so on fragrance the first thing that i do now is go down to the the perfume reminds me of section. There's literally a section. So you go past the notes, you go past the um, image, you go past um, the description of the fragrance, you go past the collection that this fragrance may have come from and the house. And there's this perfume reminds me of section. That section will tell you different perfumes that this fragrance reminds other people of. No, they're not always 100% um, correct, but it's just additional research to give you an idea. Now, if there is a fragrance that has 185 votes, I would be safe in saying that it's more than likely very similar to that perfume. If it's just five likes or two likes, then no, it, it's probably not that close to it, but it's just there to give you an idea. You read the reviews and see what the people say. Um, and just take those things into account. The next step I would say to do is find some reviewers that you trust. Now, reviewer Tara Michelle of Opinionated Sense did a blind buying guide. And in that blind buying guide that's in two parts um, on her channel, and I'll link her below, she talks about basically having a team of reviewers that you generally trust. And if let's say four out of five or two out of three like this fragrance, there is a high likelihood that you'll like it as well. You may want to do four out of five because that's a decent amount of opinions. Two out of three might be too little, but four out of five, I think is a decent number. So she talks all about that in her blind by video. Um, do check that out. And then lastly, shop around. Like, I don't just specifically go to one place to buy it. I shop around online, look for the best deal. Um, if you're using sites like eBay or Mercari, you definitely want to check and make sure that the vendor is legit or has a good amount of um, reviews and longevity on the site. So there are different ways to get the best price, but that's my next step. I don't literally, usually I don't jump out there and just throw out the $200. Like that's not how my disposable income is set up. So if it, if yours is all power to you, you know what to do with your funds. But for me, I can't do that. So I usually have to like weigh my options. And lastly, where does this fragrance fall on my want list or my wish list? That's important. Um, if it's not even on my wish list, <laughs> it gets bumped to the bottom of my priority list. But um, 
Yeah, so those are just a couple tips I wanted to share because that's what I have been doing now just in hopes to really like and appreciate what it is that I'm buying or usually blind buying. Um, oh, and don't uh, don't forget, you know, there's decants and samples. There's lots of decant sites um, that you can use that are pretty legit. I've used a couple and then there's subscription services too that give you a better gauge on fragrances that you might not otherwise try. So I have a subscription to Royalty Scents. Um, that's been working out pretty well. But there's things like Scentbird. I didn't have a good experience with them. But you may have, um, other people may have, and that's definitely a way to try scents and figure out if it's something you want to invest in a bottle. So those are just some quick tips. Thanks. If you have any tips about um, shopping or helping the fragrance addicted like me, <laughs> definitely drop it in the comments. I'd love to hear it. And I will see you guys in another video.